Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl funny lungu back with another reaction video. If you are new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Sunny Lungu. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, thank you for liking, thank you for commenting, and thank you for everything that you guys do. We're very, very grateful. I hope you guys are doing alright, and may you stay blessed. A big shout out to the people that continuously uh, suggest stuff for us to react to. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. And remember, if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below. And we'll be more than glad to react to it. So today I'm going to be reacting to the phenomenal to the phenomenal rise of Jewish converts converts to Islam. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Relation among the main religions, particularly the Muslims, Christians, and Jews, have been shaped not only by the beliefs and theologies of three religions, but more strongly, they're shaped by the historical circumstances in which they are found. Today, we'll be talking to you about a matter that involves the Jews and Muslims. We'll be discussing the increasing trend of Jews converting to Islam, mainly in Israel, and the problems that arise from the Muslims and Christians because of this. By the end of this video, you'll also have an idea about why we must be aware of what's going on in the world and how we can contribute towards developing a more peaceful world as individuals living in different corners of the globe. For Muslims, the Quran and Sunnah are key guides in dealing with people of other religions. Anybody who knows Islam is aware that the primary message of Islam is peace in this world and hereafter. However, as Islam continues to spread around the world, more and more Muslims are living in non-Muslim countries as minorities. This trend gives rise to newer intellectual and security challenges for Muslims. The up-to-date statistics of Jews to Muslim conversions in Israel are hard to come by at this moment. However, it is known that 35 Jews converted to Islam in the year 2003. The number doubled by the next three years and 70 Jews had converted to Islam in 2006. Between the years 2005 and 2007, more than 250 Jews in Israel had converted to Islam and it is not a surprise that many of them were women. Lahava, a movement in Israel that is not so cool with Muslims or any other religion for that matter, accused of causing incitement and is committed to helping women in particular go back to the fold of Judaism after marrying Muslim Israel men and converting to Islam. Clearly we should take their facts with a pinch of salt. Annette Gubstein, who co-founded this organization with her husband back in 2005, claims to receive five requests a day for help from these women. The women who did not convert but want to find a way out, either because they're stuck in the mundane cycle of living with Muslim families or who are crying for help of abusive relationships. Kupstein said, it's hard to give an accurate number, but we do know that the conversion from Judaism to Islam are on the rise. We believe it's because the women end up converting to Islam because they want to marry Muslim men. As a result, it becomes a problem for us Jews because these men are generals who take our women away from Judaism. Last year in 2019, one of Lahava's leaders, Bensi Kupstein, was charged with inciting hate. Gopstein referred to Christians as blood-sucking vampires and demanded them to be expelled from Israel. Jews who convert to Islam or Christianity have repeatedly said that they did so after deepening their knowledge of the religion, particularly Islam. Many of them are disappointed in Judaism, a senior member of the Islamic court said. According to one of the converts, the interior ministries and the religious affairs ministry gave me a hard time while converting to Islam. They gave me the run around, sending me back and forth from office to office. They also made me see a psychiatrist to make sure I wasn't brainwashed. They did everything they could so I would despair and return to Judaism. According to Gobstein's group, children that are born as a result of these marriages follow their father's religion. These kids will further end up marrying Muslim women or make more Jews convert to Islam eventually, dropping out of Judaism. More importantly, 
since they are raised by two conflicting societies, very often they find themselves unwanted by either of them. We do agree about there being exceptions in happy marriages when a woman from another religion converts to Islam before marrying. However, anyone can understand the nationalist and harmful exaggeration in Gupstein's five women a day number. If anything, the increasing trend of more Jews converting to Islam should give rise to a more democratic, more secular, more collaborative and peaceful environment for Israel. But unfortunately, the existence for movements like Lahava that give rise to hateful nationalism doesn't do good for any religious group in Israel, including the Judaism. May Allah make this world a peaceful place for people of all religions. Amen. Interesting, I have to say, I mean, why have someone go for therapy? I just don't get it. Why say a psychiatrist for what? Because they want to join a different religion than you believe? That's absurd. That's just insane. And um, people will continue to convert and Islam is going to continue to grow. And people have to accept that. You don't have to convert yourself, but learn to live with people. It doesn't matter where they're from. None of that matters. What matters is what's inside us, in our hearts. Are we pure people? Are we bad people? Are we toxic people? Are we just the greatest people you've come across? Otherwise, this b video basically spoke for itself. I mean, everything was so easy to understand and it's really up to you and the way you want to look at it, but... People that take things to extreme measures, calling people blood suckers. I mean, funny, but that's just crazy. Very, very crazy to prove your point. That's insane. And I don't think, anyway, this is a complicated word. At the end of the day, always be kind to one another, educate one another so that we can have information shared among us, not just having information and never sharing it with anyone out there let me know what you guys actually think because um it's through sharing knowledge or reading or something watching videos that we only get to learn certain things you find that you fall in love with this religion because it um it has standards that you think the world should live by you'll be shocked Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.